Hi guys, just for checking the video out, Steve Buzzer here. And first things first, thank you for the comments I had on my Tiger Woods video. So it was a similar format to this video, uh, more of a discussional kind of video. Um, I had some real nice feedback. Um, I asked you guys to give me some ideas and maybe some pointers on what you would like to see in this type of video. And I had some really constructive stuff put on that video. So like I say, thank you. But this week, I'm gonna drag the past up and play devil's advocate because that's what the buzzman does. So Bryson DeChambeau, he was side saddling. So there was an event in Naples, Florida uh, like the shootout, one of the end of year sort of pro events, and he turned up trying this new side saddling. So I think it should be banned because if you're going to ban anchored putters, so anchored putters was banned almost a year ago, so the 1st of January, anchoring was not allowed. So you can't have it into the chest, you can't have the old chinny chin chin. But it wasn't banned because of pure performance issue. It was banned because it wasn't deemed to be in the spirit of the game. And I said at the time, and I, I, was, I don't think anchoring should have been banned. There's the argument about performance, but there wasn't really that much evidence to show that it was aiding performance a great deal. If you take the majors, what happened was you had four guys back-to-back -back win with long putters, and I will name them off the top of my head, but I can't. Keenan Bradley, Ernie Els, Adam Scott, was there one other? Maybe I've lied, get some comments down below. If you, is there a fourth person, or am I just lying? But yeah, it seemed to spook the people that run, run the joint, run the, run the world of golf, and they were banned, but they were banned because they weren't deemed in the spirit of the game. So it, that's a very subjective thing. The reason I'm not against banning anchoring is I felt like, especially in the amateur game, it might allow people to enjoy their, their games more. It's not a performance enhancing drug. So you think with a, a drug, if you use it, you get an unfair advantage. But then if you're not using it and then were to use it, you would have to have to deal with the detrimental effects of the drug. I mean, the anchoring wasn't as clear cut as in giving you better performance. Plus there was no disadvantage or there was no bad thing if you used it. So there was nothing stopping everybody using it if they deemed that was what they wanted to do. So that being said, the side saddling, so side saddling is not new. Do you mean Bryson hasn't invented that? Uh, Sam Sneed, who's one of the all-time greats of golf, used to really struggle with his putting and he was croqueting. So he was croqueting his putting, and again, that was banned because it wasn't deemed in the spirit of the game, making it too easy. So then he found a way to side saddle to still allow him to play, but kind of not be breaching the rules. Bryson has looked at it. I, I did a silly video on Instagram. People were saying and it was a joke, so I know you need to alter the putter and stuff. People were trying to give me tips on how to do it. It was a joke I just missed by so far, I thought it was funny. But it, it biomechanically, you know, you're, and it, if you saw how Bryson was holding it, he was kind of really getting his forearms flat. You know, it would, it, it would look like if you were somebody that was maybe a bit electric in the hands, a bit yippy, it might help. But you're using a tool, so you're using the club, which is there's no way you could argue that it's going to not be conforming. But the actual movement looks far different from what it would look like if you were just using an anchored, especially a belly putter. So like a belly putter looks very golfy until you notice there's a bit of shaft pointing out. So in side saddling doesn't look golfy at all. So it, it the, the point of this video, like I said, I want to get some comments down below. I want your opinions. Is if you ban things on like a bit, it's all a bit subjective and golf can be, especially when it comes to the rules, a little bit subjective. Are you opening a, a can of worms? Because do you now have to ban it? Or can you not ban it because you ban the other one and you don't want to be seen to be banning everything? Do you ban somebody? Do you, you ban 
Jim Furyk swing because it looks so strange, it, it, it's not in the spirit of the game. I know that's a silly example, but it, if you're not being objective, especially when it comes to the rules and making rules, you can get in a, in a lot of trouble. Like take, take the rule change that is coming into effect, or it's a local rule, is if you move the ball on the putting green unintentionally, there's no, there's no penalty anymore. But again, that's come off of the very bad press and situation in the US Open when it happened to Dustin Johnson. Again, I think that's a great rule change, by the way. I'm not arguing that one, and I think they've made the right decision. But again, it, it's quite hard, isn't it? Because it, that's not being objective, really. It's taking a situation that was deemed not great, so it's making a subjective, do you mean an opinion on, oh, actually, we don't want that to happen again, and, and, and then changing it. So my argument of you need to be objective isn't really backed up by that point. So it, 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 it's, a, it's an interesting one with the rules. Um, I don't think there's going to be any other rule changes in January. They tend to do it every two years, I believe. But yeah, it's just it's interesting how the rules evolve and what do you do? Like the technology, there's lots of things in place to try and stop people hitting the ball too far. But should manufacturers be able to make stuff that is very powerful that the amateur can benefit from, but maybe not the pros? I mean, should there be different rules for the pros and the amateurs, especially when it comes to equipment? I mean, it's, uh, again, I, I, th I think improving equipment is going to improve people's enjoyment. And we want to increase uptake into this game. I mean, if you're watching this video, you probably love playing golf. I love playing golf. We want to encourage people to kind of join our community. And if you're changing rules, do you mean putting limits on technology, does it help that? Does it not matter at all? Should there be, like I say, should there be differences in the rules and a big split between amateurs and professionals? Do you mean? I don't know all the answers. Like I said, I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm uh, stirring, 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 stirring. Get some comments down below. Did you enjoy this video? Or did you just not like me because I was stirring? Do you mean? Like I say, get some comments down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, and obviously you've got the coaching and, and playing videos also on the channel, so if you want to see some of that, please give me a subscribe. But yeah, get some comments down below, and I hope to catch you soon.